Hi guys, in this video I am just demonstrating up close how to use a needle, th needle threader on the CS5055 machine. I'm actually making this to help my girls, but this might help somebody else. So here I am actually showing the tiny silver hook that is located on the needle threader that passes through the eye of the needle once that lever is pulled down and pushed back. I'll also demonstrate that the needle actually has to be in the right position for this to work. To make sure the needle is in the right position, you turn that wheel on the right side of the machine until the needle is all the way up. Then that hook is going to get caught in the eye of the needle once the lever is pulled down. Next, we want to pull our thread and hook it onto that guide there that is located on our lever and then pull that thread in front of the eye of the needle tauntly and make sure it gets caught into that little silver hook that is going to be through the eye of the needle. There's two little tan color guides in front of the needle that helps you hook that thread. But first, I forgot to finish the upper threading. So I'm just going to pass my thread through that silver bar that is located above the needle then I'm going to hook my thread on that guide that little hook there and then pull it tauntly or securely I'm going to pull my needle threader down and push it back which is going to allow that hook to come through the eye hook my thread onto that and I'm just using my finger here to help keep the thread in place if possible then I'm going to slowly release the threader so that it doesn't you know unthread so here I'm showing you the loop that has been created and then you just reach to the back and slowly pull the needle or sorry pull the thread through to finish the threading and that is how you use the needle threader so this is just in case you want to attempt using the needle threader, but of course we can also thread the needle the, the basic way if this is too difficult for right now. Now sometimes this threading doesn't always work out smoothly, whether because the thread is being pulled a little bit too tightly onto that hook or we let go of the lever too quickly. When it gets caught onto that metal hook, because it's metal, it can actually start cutting the thread, which is going to, you know, of course, cause um, freeing. And if that happens, you know, just take it out and cut a new end and give it a try again. But it does take a little bit of time to get used to using it. And once you get used to using it, it really does help thread the machine faster.